you lot, Miller Corner here, welcome back once again and today you join me on Hastings Seafront for a car meet, but a normal car meet this is not, this is something a little bit more special and a little bit more important, this is Huey's Supercar Sunday. Huey Pringle was just three years old when he lost his life to a brain condition back in 2016. In memory of the car loving youngster, Surrey Car Meet helped to organise Huey's Supercar Sunday, a supercar meet in Hastings where supercar owners are encouraged to bring their cars along and give other young people the kind of up-close experience that Huey loved. The event takes donations and sells cakes to raise funds for Demelza Hospice Care for young children and obviously the more cars that turn up the bigger the event will be and the more funds for charity are raised and let's just say that the car community delivered big time. The event was huge, with over a hundred cars in attendance and hundreds of people attending the event and supporting the charity. The cars there were phenomenal and here are just some of my favourites. First up is this Lamborghini Gallardo Performante, a car that you might have forgotten exists. It might have the dated e-gear transmission and be no match for a Huracan, but I can't help but love the Gallardo and this convertible Performante version is perfect for a day like this. Oh, and satin orange paint definitely helps the appeal. Speaking of appeal, I love this Lotus Evora. Tons of carbon, a perfectly proportioned wing, and white nicely complements the Evora's lines. What's more, no matter what it looks like, we already know that the Evora is an epic car. Speaking of Lotus, this flat grey Exige 430 Cup is stunning and even in this company is a proper standout. Like your track cars with a bit more power? Well this is the Ultima GTR, a bonkers supercar that you can buy as a kit and actually build yourself. This thing's got a Chevy small block V8 on board and depending on its tune it makes up to 720 horsepower. It weighs in at just under a tonne and has recorded a 0-60 to time of 2.6 seconds. The Ultima GTR is British made and ultra rare and if it's driven well almost nothing gets close to the performance of this thing. What's more with a leather interior and a removable roof it'll be the perfect daily driver. <coughs> Anyway, next up is this Mercedes C63 Black, a car that even Clarkson found hard to control. From the carbon canards on the front, to the hugely flared wheel arches and that ridiculous wing, this thing is all kinds of awesome and despite its infamous undrivability, I can't help but have a bit of a soft spot for it. Also in attendance was the brand new BMW M5. I only got a brief look at it but first impressions are that it's very handsome and I can't wait to see this thing battle the E63. Speaking of brand new, this is the Hyundai i30N, a car which, on account of its value, looks Fun factor, performance and its 5 year warranty is my favourite hot hatch around right now and it was great to get up close and personal with it. This is a genuine Ford Escort Mexico complete with bright green paint job, period wheels and huge rally lights on the front. I'm not really a fast forward kind of guy but there's no denying this thing is cool. Not nearly as cool though as the Lancia Delta Integrale, the four wheel drive, turbocharged rally monster that is awesome to behold and is arguably the granddaddy of hyper hatches. This GT500 Mustang is super cool and as well as being a mint Shelby Mustang, this particular one is made cooler still on account of autographs on the bonnet by Carol Shelby and Henry Ford. 
talk about provenance. But this was my favourite, the Ferrari 360, my absolute dream supercar. And on top of this stunning one, there were not one, not two, but three Ferrari 360s in attendance. This one gets bonus points though for having the Challenge rear grille and a manual gearbox. Special, special car and I could not stop admiring this thing. Before I got too carried away though, there was also a Lamborghini Huracan Performante Spider at the meet. Most people, myself included, would go for the Performante Coupe, but there's no denying that this thing looks awesome and it might well be one of the first Performante Spiders in the whole country. The Perf Spider was wicked, but almost totally anonymous compared to this all black Aventador. Seven years old it might be, but the Aventador has lost precisely none of its crowd-pleasing abilities, particularly with the brilliant personal plate on this one. Huey loved Lamborghinis in particular and the Aventador and Huracans seem like the perfect way to round off his fantastic meet. A beautiful day, loads of amazing cars and lots of money raised for charity. What more of a brilliant day could you ask for than that? Ignore all the rubbish stories and all the images you see in the media of people who are into cars hooning, crashing into things and putting other people in danger. This is proof that the car community can do some wonderful, brilliant self selfless things for some genuinely brilliant causes and it goes to show one of the reasons why I love cars and the car community so very much. Thanks so much for watching this video everybody, I really really appreciate it. If you liked it don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and also subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified when a new Miller Corner video is released. But for now thanks once again for watching everybody and have a brilliant rest of your day. See you soon and have a good one.